What's up? Jim here. Welcome back to J Street Moto. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time. Do me a favor. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss any new content. Share it with your friends. All that stuff's free to you and it helps the channel. Thank you in advance. A couple of weeks ago, I dropped a video about how I like to give the motorcycle some time to tell me what it needs for it to be, for it to fit me the way that I want it to fit me, versus just throwing the kitchen sink at it when I buy it, as soon as I buy it. Well, I've got 2,000 miles on Via right now, my 2024 Road Glide. And, more importantly, I have officially ridden this bike in every way that I intend to ride it. What I hadn't had a chance to test when I made that video was going out and riding the bike the way that I would when we are on a long distance trip. And, we, and what I really needed to do before I could figure out what was the first thing that I was going to change on the motorcycle. I needed to have a day where I went out and spent a good portion of the day on the bike. And if you watch the last video that dropped, where we rode up to the Blue Ridge Parkway, on that day, we were gone for seven hours and maybe only spent about 35 or 40 minutes off of the bike. So that was a very good representation of the kind of days we do, because we go out and do 10, 12 hour days repetitively. So that was a good representation of that, or it certainly gave me a different feel. Now, what I can say is, what I did find a little problematic were two things. First thing I'm gonna talk about is the bushings in the top clamp for this motorcycle, where the risers connect to the top clamp. It's basically a metal tube that has rubber bushings around it. And when I first bought the bike at the dealership, it was pretty solid. Now, it is extremely wiggly. I, if I had to guess, I'm able to move it about a mi an inch and a half when my hands are on it. I can move it an inch and a half forward, an inch and a half back, and it just bounces. It returns to center line, but that's that did not show up until I put a few miles on the bike and the rubber started to break down a little bit. I started to do what rubber does, which is get used to how it's going to be flexed. So it's no gig against Harley, it's just, you know, that's, that's what they're designed to do. Now for someone like me, I stand up on my motorcycle quite a bit. I stand up on it when I'm going over speed bumps. I stand up on it when I'm crossing railroad tracks. I stand up on it to shoot video. So I'm constantly pulling myself to a vertical position on the motorcycle. And when we went on that seven hour ride, it became very, very uh, disturbing to me that every time I grabbed the bars to stand up, they pulled back on me. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. That's the first thing. I decided I wanted to switch the bushings out for solid bushings. Second thing was, while the bars have my hands at almost the exact same height that my 14-inch KSC Renegades did on the Road King, my hands are certainly wider. And I mean, they're further away from the center line of the bike. The other thing is that my hands, I'll try and show you in the video, on these bars, my hands are like this. On my old bars, my hands were like that. And this is a more comfortable riding position, especially when it's pulled in towards the center of the tank. Because I was getting some pain in my shoulders, specifically my traps back here behind my neck. I was getting some pain there after that seven hour day. If you want to change the bushings on these risers, you have to do all the same shit you gotta do if you're gonna change the bars. So after that seven hour ride, I was thinking about it and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should change the bars. So I called Tulane Life, 
told him I wanted to order some bushings, also said, you know, since I'm going to be in there, maybe it would be a good idea to go ahead and change it all out, because I knew I needed some bars that were a little narrower. I knew I needed something that was just a smidge higher. And I'm, I, I'm not kidding you. And this is not sponsored by Two Lane Life. It's not sponsored by Thrash and Supply. But, you know, when I get good customer service and when I'm talking to people that are good, I want to give them credit for it. I called Two Lane Life, and I'll be damned. Galen Anderson answered the phone. Yep, the guy, if you watch that channel, the guy that's on that channel answered the phone. What I ordered was the Thrash and Supply 9.5-inch back risers, the high bend bar, both in black, the solid bushings, and the mounting hardware for the riser. And I can't say enough about the customer service at Tulane Life. I really can't. Those guys, I mean, they, they literally talked to me about what it was I was trying to accomplish. They confirmed that the way I was thinking was the right way to think and, and helped me make sure that I bought the right part for what is a new bike. So yeah, but one thing I decided I wanted to do as well is do an installation video of those bars on this bike. Now when I say I'm gonna do an installation video, it's not gonna be a detailed installation video for you. I will show you what size stuff you need. I will show you what you're removing. I will maybe even give you tips about how I do it. If you wanna watch really good, in my opinion, two of the best installation videos I've seen for handlebars and I've watched a lot of them. I suggest you watch the one that Two Lane Life did when they put the same setup on Lance's bike, or watch Thrash and Supply when they put the same setup on the 24 Road Glide that they bought that Cole Seeley is the one riding around on. So I am gonna do an installation video, which brings me to the next thing that's kind of a big announcer for the channel. And it, 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 uh, it's not gonna be a big deal to you guys, but it's kind of a big deal to me. I got my hands on a GoPro 12 and uh, a GoPro Hero 12, and I'm pretty stoked about having that camera, honestly, for a couple of reasons. One is, currently, to do the kind of vlog that I'm doing, I am recording my voice to the voice memo that the iPhones do. That means they got to sync the video up between 360 camera and, and all that stuff in post-production. I understand that the, that the uh, GoPro Hero 12 has a Bluetooth feature that allows you to connect a Bluetooth device to the camera. We're going to try that out on a couple of vlogs because that would be really cool if I can just talk straight from here to the camera without any wiring or extra mics or any of that other crap that i got to think about. That would be kind of cool. So that's the other kind of announcement that I had. And I know that's not important to y'all. It will be because I am gonna be using that camera when I make the, I'll call it a quasi-installation video on the Thrash and Supply nine and a half inch pullback risers and high bend bar. That's what's getting ready to happen on the channel, guys. I told y'all when I was doing that video earlier that I would keep you in the loop about what I decided to change first, and in all honesty, until I took that seven hour long day on the bike, I honestly thought I didn't need to change the bars. So, with that said, if you find that your bars are comfortable, keep them. I would complete, I, you know, I understand it. I, I thought I was gonna keep them. I do, however, recommend changing your bushing. I'll do the unboxing and installation in one video. That'll be the one that drops a week from this one. And then I'll do after, you know, let's say 500 miles or so, maybe a little more. It won't take me long to get to it. I'll do a review of whether or not the bar and riser setup has made it better. Anyway, we're in the we're now in the month of June, folks. So nobody's got an excuse for not getting out, throwing a leg over your bike and riding. Unless you're injured or sick. You don't have an excuse. Get out there. Call some of your friends. Go explore. 
go someplace you haven't been before. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss anything new. Check on your friends. Always ride safe. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, shoot. Ah. Asshole. Really? <laughs> Peace out, bitches! <laughs>